Okay. Hey, uh, bird adaptations part uh, three, four. I think every day I have to figure out what part we're on. Um, a couple of internal features for birds here today. I'll try to keep things quick for you. Um, three different organ systems that both you and I have um, and how they're a little bit different for um, birds. And most importantly, as you look, um, all of these things are highly adapted for life in the air. Okay. Once again, that's almost a common theme that we're seeing with all of our bird um, adaptations is it is designed or, or geared around um, this life in the air stuff. So cardiovascular, respiratory, and digestive. Um, first of all, we're starting with the most interesting one, their respiratory system. This is the one where they are more efficient than you and I are. All right. Um, you and I, okay, I wish I, wish I had, mm, I don't have a good, my whiteboard behind me is a little too far for you guys to see. Um, in the future, I'll, I'll get some, some good stuff. Um, you and I, our lungs, okay, so we breathe in, air comes in our, our uh, down our trachea, into our bronchioles and into our lungs. It swirls around and then we blow it out. Okay, that is that is the system in, out, in, out, in, out. Um, and it's not always, when you think about it, when you breathe in, do you use all of that air? Probably not. Some of it gets left over. Um, when you breathe out, is all that air out of your lungs? No, there's some residual stuff. And so there's not, it's not the most efficient system. Enter the bird lung, all right? Bird respiratory systems are far more advanced and efficient than ours are. Mainly because, um, think about when they're flying at high altitudes, there's a lot less oxygen. So they've had to adapt to those conditions. So here's a look at it. It's hard to see, um, but we get, air comes in, it gets stored in these rear air sacs. It then passes over the lungs, goes to the front of the air sacs, some of them of which are inside bones, and then exits the body. Okay, so essentially every time a bird is breathing in and breathing out, oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange is going on in their lungs. Okay, so they don't have the swirling problem that you and I do where you have our two lungs, air comes in, air comes out, air comes in, air comes out. For, for birds, air comes in and then it cycles through and then goes out the other side. Okay, so it's it's a much more advanced system than ours. Um, to go along with that, oh boy, to go along with that, they have a four-chambered heart. Uh, that's the same as ours, so no advantage there. Um, that plays its role in pumping blood to the lungs. The lungs are connected to air sacs. So during inhalation, they fill, they're released, and so we call that unidirectional. Once again, they don't have the swirling. It is just a, um, it, it's a cycle, a supply chain, all right? And so they are better breathers than you and I are because they have that unidirectional airflow. Kind of cool stuff there. Okay, so birds have this unidirectional airflow over their lungs. They breathe at high altitudes. They need a lot. They can extract a lot more oxygen out of each breath than you and I can there. So cool stuff about bird lungs there. I know you've been dying to hear about bird lungs. Um, and then the digestive system. So once again, like um, cardio, same as ours. Our respiratory system is more advanced than ours with the um, advanced, maybe it's not the right word, more efficient than ours. Um, digestive system is geared around not having extra weight. Um, convenient or um, appropriate that uh, right now, um, as I'm filming this, Thanksgiving's next week. We've all been at, you know, Thanksgiving dinner before where you eat, you know, a heavy meal and you're just, you're tired. You can actually, you almost feel heavy and just kind of lethargic. Uh, if you're someone that relies on flying to get around places and survive, uh, you don't, you don't have time to feel anchored down like that. And so birds digest food very quickly because they can't afford the extra weight. They don't have any teeth. And so instead they have a gizzard that is in kind of their upper upper thorax, their throat area. And they, they might swallow some rocks to kind of help grind their food up inside that gizzard in place of teeth. They have a crop that stores food so they can fly around and they can regurgitate food to um, their offspring. They don't have hands like we do. Um, and then all their waste exit through the cloaca or cloaca, so do their eggs. And it, it burns through their system really fast. So birds poop all the time because... That's, that's extra weight. They don't want extra weight. So they're going to the bathroom all the time there. All right. So bird digestion adapted to 
burn through fuel very quickly. They have large appetites because they just they, they they play the efficiency game. How quickly can we get nutrients out of this meal and then get it out of our system so that we can fly around? Here's a look at that crop and gizzard. All right. Crop and gizzard and then goes to the stomach. I can't see where the stomach's at. Um, but anyway, and then it gets passed along to the intestines, etc. from there. All right. So there's a little bit. Here's a nice look. Crop. Stomach gizzard helps grind stuff up in there. Um, nice little cardinal there. But uh, so yeah, there's three internal bird systems. Uh, we'll save the brains for a different day.